Lawyer repeatedly mistaken for a defendant calls for compulsory anti-racism training. Here's a summary of the article. The barrister who was mistaken for a defendant three times in one day at court has called for compulsory anti-racism training at every level of the UK legal system. Since tweeting about what happened to her, Wilson said she has been flooded by responses from other black and minority ethnic lawyers who have had similar experiences. Wilson has called for lawyers and the court system to introduce far more ambitious anti-racism training that actively tackles discrimination in the legal profession. At one point on Wednesday, Wilson was shouted at and told to leave the courtroom by the clerk who had asked her if she was represented. She said there needs to be training to ensure respect is shown to black people in the court system, whether they are lawyers or defendants. If a barrister is treated like that, you wonder how a defendant's going to be treated, and whether the defendant is going to be treated fairly. There needs to be more and better training. If there is training already for staff, it's clearly not going far enough, Wilson said. Wilson, whose chambers are near the Old Bailey in the City of London, is the author of In Black and White, which highlights the problem of racism in the courts. This post received a score of 32,000, with an upvote ratio of 90%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Was the defendant wearing a powdered wig? The original BBC article explained she was attending an unrobed hearing at the magistrate's court. So no, but neither were her peers. Edit. I suspect I misread and are whooshed. Or have you just mistaken her for a defendant? Reminds me of the Florida attorney who got pulled over. First black female state attorney. Gets pulled over because her plates didn't come up. When she asked why her plates were ran, you can hear the, oh shit. In the cop's voice. That video is something else, but I have to say the most amazing thing is how genuinely hilarious the comments are, especially for YouTube. Her, I am state attorney. Officer, I have the right to remain silent anything I say can and will be used against me in a court of law. Edit. I'm dead. Oh no it's worse. What she said was I'm the state attorney. The very tippy top state attorney. The inflection in her voice was perfect. Or I guess it's more like they see nothing wrong with their racial profiling so think it's okay to racially profile and just have never ran into a person they have profiled to be in a position to take them to task for it. Unironically the best way to deal with systemic racism is fix the system so that from the top down any racism gets dealt with in a way that goes with, warning mandatory training. Warning fired for racial discrimination, temp ban from public office or possibly even a government job. Once you deal with racism at the top of the chain, everything else will start to fall in line out of absolute necessity. That sounds like a great way for the cop to complete the process of screwing their career over. While I don't doubt there might be some lie they could have come up with that would be plausibly believable, the one you put forward could be proven false very easily in the likely event the, clearly already suspicious state attorney, decided to follow up on it. All she'd have to do is check the records of what cars had recently been reported stolen. It wouldn't even be an abuse of power since it can, very easily, be argued that she is duty-bound by her position to investigate dirty cops when she sees likely evidence of one. Hey, your vehicle matched one we had reported stolen some time ago we just need to verify license and registration. However, it is a reasonable approach, and any reasonable lawyer is going to know that cops don't know the ins and outs of every law, rule, regulation out there. In fact even at this point, hey, out of curiosity what is it you do, could be a good question here, not strictly necessary but something you could reasonably ask. Especially if it hints that it means something hasn't been resolved, because resolving problems feels good. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.